So here we are. This is the finished product. It's sitting on its own stand. I uh, reworded the wires from the top uh, shaft down to the bottom shaft so that they came out um, uh, from the bottom. I've, you know, I've reassembled the unit uh, completely. So I basically epoxied in the uh, all the magnets and then I um, epoxied the cover down because my screws hit the uh, the screws are going to hit the magnets which was a something I didn't really plan for but uh, so I've epoxied the lid down and I've also epoxied the seam going through it um, and when I end up mounting it I'll mount it in such a way that it's it's uh, it's held in there so that uh, the stress there won't be any stress on the cover as far as that uh, the top of it you see are where the fan blades would normally mount if this was still being used as a ceiling fan um, so I have that option as a means to hold on to it because obviously the shaft is going to be permanent it's not going to be spinning because you've got the wires coming out so the opposite of the other thing so over here I have the meter set up and I've been I've been able to get voltage by just manually rotating this thing so if I had a pair of blades on this thing or a set of blades on a pair but then I would be able to generate some electricity or uh, use for some other method of turning it which it actually is probably going to go on a vertical windmill if um, my vertical windmill works I might just use it on that um, and see what I can get for power on it um, but that's where I'm at at this point and now it's just going to look pretty until such time that I could try it on on something a little bit more aggressive other than hand motion um, which will mean that we're going to have to have some warm weather to get rid of that snow out back in my workshop is still going to be buried in snow so feel free to ask any questions or tell me that I did something wrong I'm all ears and uh, happy new year